What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Guys, we got another X06 pre-order window opening, and it's Ensign Roe Laren from TNG, The Next Generation. Now, guys, you know I'm a huge Next Generation fan, but I've got to say I'm kind of lukewarm on this one. So stick around. I'll give you my thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show, and of course, let's get into it. YouTube, the final frontier. These are the episodes of The Ben Thomas Show, my continuing mission to explore strange new Star Trek reviews, to seek out new Star Trek collectors and new badass collectibles, and to boldly go where no Trek collector has gone before. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So, today we're going to look at the X06 pre order for Ensign Ro Laren from Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, guys, I gotta say, while I am excited to see this character coming to light, I did think she was an awesome character at times. She was also one of those characters that, to be honest, pissed me off quite a lot. And her relationship with the captain was always very strange and, like, almost a little inappropriate in terms of that relationship with a captain. Now, we get a little bit of more of that love story kind of dynamic in actually Picard season three, which is interesting because we do get a chance to see her come back and make a bit of a return. But if we're looking at just this figure, of course she's being pulled from the next generation. She's not the Maquis version that we get a chance to know as well. This is Star Trek, the next generation. And I gotta say, this is not a main cast member for me. While I still think there's some great story there, absolutely, let's be honest. When I think of my next generation cast that I want to have in my 6 scale collection, it's definitely the bridge crew. Now, you could branch out from the bridge crew for sure. There's a lot of great, great characters there. But, of course, she, to me, is not really one of them. Now, you might say, Ben, well, give them a break. At least they're giving them to us. And I have to admit, I agree with that take, at least to a certain extent. But is this a character I plan to collect? Not necessarily. I'm really frustrated that we're not seeing more of the main characters. I want Worf. I want freaking Wesley Crusher even at this point more than I want her. Where's Riker? Where's Picard? Right? Like, guys, we're going to have a Data? We're going to have a Geordi LaForge? We're going to have a Locutus of Borg? And a Ro Laren. That's a really odd pick so far for Next Generation. Why is it taking so long to see some of these main casts of characters? Guys, there's my rant at least initially. Because when I look objectively at this figure, I'm pretty impressed for the most part. I still think that there's a little bit of softening in the sculpt, but I definitely see the likeness to the actress, especially her younger self. The sculpt it's difficult to tell with these photos specifically because the photo clarity has been better lately for sure. The color grading is a lot more clear. It's easier to see these, but I can't see her mole on her face as easy. I think that it's there because I could see it slightly in one photo, but it almost looks like it's been edited slightly and is not nearly as glaring as the actress herself. The outfit is a lot more fit, in my opinion, than the Bashir that we saw just recently. I do think that the tailoring is always pretty on point with X06. I like the color choice. I think the red is bang on. So there, I think, is really, really good as well. The neck does look a little bit long on the sculpt, and I'm not sure if it's the photos, the angles, or if it is, in fact, a bit of a long neck on the character. She has a bit of a neck in person, but I can't honestly say it's been one of those, like, actor details I've noticed in the past. It does look a little uh, storky here in my opinion, but that's okay. Now, now let's look at the price point for this figure. It's coming in at $195 plus the $25 flat shipping rate. The pre-order did start here on March 19th, 
2024 and is going to go through to April the 9th of 2024. So really only kind of next week. So guys, keep that in mind, of course. The estimated delivery here is quarter three of 2024 if you are buying directly from Exo6's website. Uh, of course, she does come with a couple of different things like relaxed hands, a uh, left hand for the phaser that it comes with, the tricorder that's specific to next generation. The type two hand phaser is also specific to next generation, which I appreciate. And the TR580 tricorder can be worn in the holster on the belt, uh, which is magnetized, which I do really like as well. She is a little bit shorter than the other figures. So I think height wise, there's some good there as well. But again, this is a pretty standard release from Exo6. So the question I really have for you guys is, are you starting to feel fatigued getting so many side characters? Bashir, I would argue, was a is a main character for Deep Space Nine, but I don't really feel like Neelix was for Voyager. Now, the argument there is at least they did the captain and all the other cast members before they got to Neelix, so I'm cool with it. But for the folks that are waiting for the original series Star Trek, right? Kirk, Spock, McCoy, or guys like me, the next generation, the Picard, the Riker, the Worf, right? Like, why are we getting Rolaren first? That's such a weird looking TNG display. I just don't, I don't totally get it. So guys, today for me on this one, this is going to be a skip at this point. I don't think it's worthy of buying to try and kit bash into another figure because I do think we're going to see other next gen figures coming. I think the photos have definitely improved. So whatever they've changed there, keep doing that. I think the likeness is strong. I would give it somewhere in a seven and a half to eight and a half range. I think once I have it in hand, or if I see it in hand, I'll have a better opportunity to judge that. The photos do still make it a little tricky to tell uh, how dialed in she is. My only other critique here is that the hair sculpting, while the sculpt itself is pretty good, the paint applications still feel a little lackluster on the hair. There's really no like coloration or shading or shimmer or anything. It's kind of just flatly painted. And for that, I feel like it actually makes the figure look more like a figure and a little less premium than I think that they're going for if they keep talking about museum quality. But guys, I wanna hear from you in the comments down below. Is Ro Laren a figure that you're going to put in your collection for Star Trek The Next Generation or really any of the other shows that that she actually appears in. Would you like to see an older version of the character from Picard season three? Or do you think you could skip on that one as well? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. But of course, if you like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to the Ben Thomas show. Live long and prosper, of course. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.